Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith and today I'm going to do a video on a brand new arrival here at the dealership. What I have in front of me is the all new 2017 159 inch wheelbase 9 passenger raised roof conversion van. Now this is a little different than most of the videos that we do here at the dealership um, just for the simple fact that this is a new van that we are now carrying. This is a wall dock conversion done on the Ram Pro Master, and it is their Galaxy series. And it's done uh, in a really nice sandstone pearl coat color. Now, just like all of the vans that you're used to seeing here at the dealership, everything's been painted on this van, front fascia, running boards, door handles, and the power mirrors to match the exterior paint, along with some nice graphics that you'll see here in a minute. Now, just like all the ProMasters here at the dealership, this one is a front-wheel drive as well, uh, paired up with the 3.6-liter Pentastar V6, good for 20 mile plus um, on the highway, mile per gallon, and it is a front-wheel drive. Now, this particular van does feature the 18-inch chrome wheels. wrapped in Michelin 255-55R18 tires and there you can see the graphics going down the side of the van just like all of our vans here this van does feature privacy glass it's a 35% on the front windows and a 5% limo tent on the rear window guaranteed to give you the best uh, protection from the sun and ensure your your privacy as well now moving along to the back uh, first off I want to show you that this does have a factory tow package it's got your built-in four pin flat and your seven pin connector right to the left of the hitch and this van could tow up to 5100 pounds now some of the safety features on this van um, starting with the rear backup camera that's top dead center so anytime you put this vehicle in reverse, you're going to get a visual of whatever might be behind you. Now this van does feature traction control, anti-lock brakes, um, hill start brake assist, and rollover mitigation, which is extremely important in a high profile vehicle. If you have any questions on how these safety features work and what they do, feel free to give me a call. Again, my name's Justin. I apologize for the dirty van we're under construction right now as you can see our brand new dealership being built so it's kind of a challenge keeping these things clean as you can imagine now let's go inside and let you see this brand new package here again we just started carrying this van um, done by a wall dock and they do uh, some different things than you're used to seeing on our sherry van but all in all it's uh, pretty similar just some different subtle touches throughout the interior as you can see, it does feature real pretty indirect lighting up around the ceiling. Um, a suede headliner. I don't know if you can tell. Really pretty um, headliner in this. And a nice trim piece going down the middle of the ceiling. Now this van does have storage cabinets all the way around. Up in the raised roof section, as you can see, they're all the way around. And we have an abundance of speakers in this thing, I tell you. Um, Rockford Fosgate, three-way six and a half going down the side on this side as well and then once you get to the back we've got Rockford Fosgate six by nines up here in the top and do have six by nines you can't see them there in the bottom of these rear doors now these vans do have a subwoofer option as well which this one does not have the other Waldock van on our lot does have the subwoofer the white one now the windows we have as i mentioned on the outside we have privacy glass um, but we also have these nice shades here that can be pulled down uh, to give you a little more protection from the sun or some privacy um, the seating in this van starting with the rear sofa it, this is a power rear sofa so it has the ability to slide forward and back and also recline and fully fold flat now there is a, this is a three-piece sofa so it is the biggest um, it will make the biggest bed um, in the conversion van segment so that's a nice feature uh, 
the chairs, the captain's chairs in this van, every, the interior in here is a, gray, uh, a light gray leather, excuse me, with the diamond pleat insert. It's really sharp. And uh, the headrest looks a little unique, uh, out of the ordinary. Um, but believe it or not, it's very functional and can be removed um, as well. So it gives you great neck support. Now these chairs will slide forward and back and recline and they are swivel as well. Now we've got cup holders going down the side right here for everybody in the back of the van. And as you can see, they're lit up with the blue LEDs. Uh, little storage compartments by every seat in the back of this van for the little knickknack items. Map lights are all the way around on every chair. And you can see right here is one of the vents, like an airplane style vent. So there's a vent on every chair for the heat and air. Um, between the first row captain chairs and second row, you do have heat and air controls. So the passengers in the back of this van can easily adjust the climate. Now, let's get into the electronics. Now this van, something unique to wall dock, features a power folding flip down TV. Now this is a 32 inch LED smart television and it is power. So you don't have to have it down all the time, which is a nice feature. I won't take the time to raise that all the way up, but you get the idea. Well, maybe I will. I'll let you guys see how this works. This is a really cool feature because when this TV is not in use, you can get it out of the way. And it just makes it easier to walk from the front of the van to the back of the van. And you can see it's all decorated in nice vinyl trim. Virtually wouldn't even know it was there unless we told you. Now that TV is paired up to this Jensen Home Theater. It's a, it's a really neat system. Um, and in the Sherry ProMaster, uh, we have a actual DVD player and uh, a rear radio. This is pretty much all that wrapped in one. Um, so you've got your DVD slot, um, multiple sources to connect to this. It is Bluetooth, will play a CD, has an AM FM tuner built in. Um, We've got USB down here, 3.5 auxiliary input, and by the power TV switch right here, we have an HDMI. So basically, just like all of our vans, anything that uh, uses HDMI connectivity, um, you can transfer directly to that 32 inch TV. And one thing unique about the Waldock van is they didn't forget about the old systems that are out there. So if you've got something that uses RCAs, um, with your yellow video and your white and red audio cable, you can um, still bring that old game system along and connect it to this newer TV. Now this van does have a 110 plug-in right here as well to power any device you might want to hook to this television. And I tell you, when you're watching a movie in the back of this van with those uh, Rockford Fosgate speakers, you really get a true home theater sound experience while going down the road it sounds phenomenal and if that's a little too much for the driver um, we do have wireless headphones that come with this van as well now moving up to the front of the van I want to go over some basics up here starting with the steering wheel steering wheels are very nice leather wrapped wheels you can see we have steering wheel controls on both sides of the airbag now those are gonna allow you to navigate through your radio without taking your hands off the steering wheel. You do have a little voice command button so you can tell your radio to do certain things. Um, you can uh, just hit this button, say call mom, and it's gonna do it hands-free. It's a great safety feature, so it does have Bluetooth. Now that all works through this 5.0 Uconnect radio. This is a touchscreen radio, AM FM tuner with a CD slot on the top and it does have navigation now the navigation in this radio uh, is really easy to use um, as far as factory radios go because uh, it uses a tom tom interface i don't know if you can see that and uh, it's very user friendly and most of you are already familiar with tom tom so 
it's a very easy to use navigation system. Now, the power equipment in this van. Of course, we've got power mirrors right here, um, power windows, the top windows power, and even your blind spots power, and they do collapse. So if you gotta get it in that tight spot, that's a nice feature to have. Um, of course, we've got cruise control, um, keyless entry in this van, and factory remote start. So that's a nice feature to have, especially on these uh, cold Ohio mornings that uh, won't seem to go away. But uh, we also have heated seats up in the front of this van. Now the, the chairs in the front have the nice, same nice leather as we have in the back. A eight way adjustable pedestal with lumbar and again, factory power heat. And as far as charging goes up in the front of this van, We've got multiple uh, charging ports here, USB, DC charging port uh, for the passenger, and you also have a USB in there right by the steering column and a 3.5 auxiliary input, and those are going to connect directly to the navigation radio. Now, the heat and air controls are located di directly below the radio just rotary dial controls very easy to use for your heat and air and then you've got these little switches down here that control the power to the back of the van these three toggle switches and that pretty much wraps up the inside of this 2017 wall dock nine passenger conversion van Again, 2017 Sandstone 159 nine passenger conversion van. If there was anything I didn't cover on this video, or maybe you had some questions on another van that you've seen on our website, please don't hesitate to call. There's always somebody around willing to answer all your questions. And for those of you that are in search of that perfect conversion van that you've yet to find, or just like the videos that we do here at the dealership, I kindly ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and even like us on Facebook. And that'll give you a better chance of not missing out on the next great deal here at Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. Again, Justin Smith, thanks for your time and have a wonderful day.